This is a, a nice book all about cat boats, and we're making a model of a cat boat that was restored at Mystic Museum in this book. You might be able to find this book on Amazon, I'm not sure. This is the Francis at Mystic. This is where they're starting to restore it. It was built by Wilton Crosby in the very early 1900s. In 1969, they started remodeling it, restoring it. There's pictures of the cockpit before and after. This is the cabin. There's the rudder. And this is it sitting on a trailer all restored. Nice looking little cat boat. Well, it's still a working cat boat at Mystic Seaport? No, it's not in the water. It's not in the water anymore? I thought that it was. I don't know if it ever was, to be um, honest. What cat boat do they have at Mystic that they use? Maybe the Brett Marshall. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. Is the, um, that where the um, Marshall cat got its lines? The Yep. From that boat? This was just tight bond glue. It's what I use for most models. Those other glues, I'm sure, that are just as good. Usually spread it out with a little foam brush. You use a lot of glue and you don't care about it dripping down over the sides or anything, just as much glue as you can, right? Yeah. Makes a mess, but... That's what the wax paper's for, too. We put a couple of pencil lines there, so I know it's lined up. Hopefully. Usually it's easy if you drill the holes for the nails first. You don't mail it. You uh, 
it likes to slide all over when you tighten the clamps up. What I also do is to I put the clamps opposite, tighten a little bit at a time on each one. That helps it from sliding. Use as many clamps as you can. Once I get the clamps on, a few of them take this off and reverse it. This makes it a little easier if you can get a lot of the glue off. You could use a little water, it might help. And who taught you how to make them? I taught myself. Be a little bit too much glue, but can never have too much glue.
And for wood, you have fast wood and mahogany. This is bass wood and mahogany. Yeah. And just the way I'm doing it, but you can do it any wood you want. Usually I use mahogany. I just leave this up a little bit to let the air get at the inside. Underneath. I might pa paint the top sides white and maybe I'll leave the bottom varnished. At the boat yard, all the original models, they didn't, a lot of times they didn't paint them the color of the hull. They just painted them whatever they wanted. And they weren't very fussy about their paint jobs. But you are. I guess yeah, I'm a little bit too fussy. <laughs> This is a nice, easy little capo to make, as far as I'm concerned. And you might be able to get the plans at Mystic Museum for the Francis. They probably don't charge much. And it seems to be a little different scale than what I have. I take, took my plans, templates, off the original capo model. So. Okay. After this dries overnight, we'll clean it up, mark it out, and cut it out on the bandsaw. Okay, that'll be the next video, cutting it out.